The bridge between what happened to Jesus and what happened to you is the bridge that brings God's grace, his deliverance, his power, his strength, his fortitude to get you through your situation. Now I know you aren't Jesus and maybe you aren't spotless and, and, and maybe the Roman soldiers have not carried you away. Maybe life has carried you away and you've been nailed down by disappointments, divorces, chaos, confusions, abuse, molestations, trials, promise, secret things you can't talk to anybody about. But let me tell you something right now. Everybody in here has his nails. Everybody in here carries their crosses. No matter what school you went to, there's a cross for you. No matter how many zeros are on the end of your check, I tell you what, there will still be a cross for you. A cross for your fine self. A cross for your fat self. A cross for your skinny self, a cross for your broken self, your black self, your white self, your brown self, your Puerto Rican self. There's still Some people stay nailed to a cross. Some people stay complaining about what they've been through and who hurt them and who betrayed them and who gave them the kiss of death and who walked out and who left them. And then there are some people, they, they get off the cross, but they stay in a tomb of regret and misery and agony and depression and they stop living and they stop breathing and they anesthetize their pain with some kind of drug or some kind of sex or some kind of fly-by-night person who's here today and gone tomorrow and you find yourself wrapped up in the grave clothes of guilt and shame and you live behind your tomb. But a few folks, a few people in this room have been resurrected above their circumstance, above their situation, above their trauma, above their crisis, above their dilemma. There are the few folks in this room that know him in the power of his resurrection. And you've seen God bring you out of stuff that you don't even know how you got out of it yourself, but to God be the glory for the things he's done. And you, and you know what the problem is? For all of you folks that's been resurrected from something, the problem is when people see you now, they think you have never been through anything. But would you just set the record straight this Easter Sunday morning? I'm not here because I haven't been nailed. I'm not here because I haven't been shut up. But through it all, I decided I will not stay where you left me. I'm going to have a Sunday morning resurrection experience. And I'm going to have it on Monday. And I'm going to have it on Tuesday. And I'm going to have it on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. 